please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. But let me get uh, some opinion from uh, our market experts, Aspitulsan of Aspitulsan.com and uh, Anand Tandon now join us. Uh, Good afternoon, Mr. Tulsan. Uh, you know, there was a time you had positive view and work hard, but after that you had given up on that stock, if I remember. Uh, so you, you think the market is also giving up a bit on work hard right now? See, Anuj, in fact, that's right that I've given up on the stock in this last maybe six months. And if you recall about a couple of weeks back when I don't remember the date and price, but it was closure to about 1,000 rupees. I've said that there is no reason for the stock to move up so much because the, 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 the theme on which one can play was the US FDA clearance because all their three plants are awaiting that, whether you talk of Chikal Thana or, you know, maybe Sendra, and other, all, all the plants were expecting this and I don't think that 1000 rupees was justified at that point of time. Even if any one plant would have seen the UFA, US FDA clearances, then and even if you have been optimistic, expect that at least six months will be, will be, will be required to have the FDA clearances on all three plants. Once we have the uh, US FDA plants, plant for any of the, whether Waluj or Chikalthana or Shendra, any of the plant if we see. So I, I think that market was in too much hurry at that time, too much exuberance was seen happening and at that time I in fact cautioned that take a shift either to Ar Arvindo Pharma or maybe Glenmark or DV's lab, that's number one. Number two, if you come on the results, I don't think that results are too exciting and they were never expected to be any kind of relief coming in because once you have any kind of US FDA relief coming in on any of their one plant, you know, out of these three which I have stated, then only you can start expecting the revenue growth or kicker coming in because of the US market they start resuming there so I think that analyzing the results which were seen to be flat to dull uh, was 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 wrong you know expecting that results will be showing some kind of improvement the or the entire focus should be on the US FDA clearances on which of the plants first receive it and then you know one can chalk out the timeline because it is overdue more than three years have elapsed and probably this is the longest, you know, probably maybe in case of IPCA and uh, Vocard, these two are the companies which are really not showing any kind of comfort on US FDA clearances. So that's the reason, in fact, we have removed our focus from the stock and we have advised, in fact, profit booking a couple of weeks back at a level of about 950 to 1000 rupees uh, 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 on, on, on the stock of Vocard. Okay, a profit booking being advised by Mr. Tulsi and it's uh, sinking even further as we speak, 8% down. Market struggle is also on. I mean, still 80 points down on the Nifty. Maybe we can pull up Maruti. These are some of the areas where there is fresh selling that's building in. So Maruti is at the lows of the day. Yes, bank is seeing uh, plenty of pressure as well. That's a stock in negative territory as well. On that note, let's uh, also bring in Anand Tandon into the conversation. Good afternoon, Anand. Lots of results coming in today. Let me start by getting your take on TVS Motors and what your stock advice would be. Well, you know, it's been a little uh, uh, rather early for me to try and analyze any of these. There are too, far too many of them. Uh, overall, I think, uh, you know, if you look at the results that have come through so far, they have been generally quite decent, I would think. Uh, there have not been uh, too many negative surprises. Uh, so overall, I think uh, the results are uh, kind of delivering. And uh, the only impression that one takes away from here is that perhaps, you know, of course, partly because of the base effect, that uh, to some extent the worst seems to be now behind us in terms of the earnings. However, the market I, I think is not so much worried about valuations or earnings at this stage and we will continue to the dance to the tunes of what the global markets are doing. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Lachan, the other stock of course uh, uh, is Imami. Thoughts here? Uh, uh, do you think this weakness should be bought into or do you think this the, the management commentary is slightly weak? See, Anuj, taking the results, I would say that the results are seen to be flat to weakish. Maybe managing commentary has never excited. In fact, you, you have never seen any kind of comfort coming in from the management commentary. But still, the company keeps performing very well and I won't hesitate in buying the stock because generally, if you really see the situation going forward, I, I think maybe the products kind of lined up and, you know, maybe some of the inorganic growth which they have gone for probably has kept a check on the, on the numbers of Q3 because generally Q3 numbers are always soon seem to be good for the company because of their winter products they have the cold creams and so many other things so i won't hesitate in using this dip as a buying opportunity for imami okay